Hi guys, I'm Keita. I'm Trina. And this is Ultra, Ultra Culture, Culture TV. TV. We would like to thank you guys for tuning in to our channel today. We're going to have a lot of content you guys can really relate to. Our channel is going to cover all the bases from food, entertainment. Um, Who is shit? Yeah, that, that would be my that would be my domain. To what's in that cup, girl? Hey. You know? And different things like Kita's into more wigs and makeup, and I'm more of a naturalista. Like I'm usually my high puff, but I'm wearing my little afro today. And yes, my curls are cute and they're popping. And they are popping. So you'll see videos with me doing um, natural hair videos, um, different protective styles you can use on your hair, and, and what products is best used awesome. in order to get the best curl definition. Awesome. And I'll be doing a lot of things on no natural hair, bitch. Like none. <laughs> like I'll be doing the wigs. I'll be doing the frontals. I'll be doing the three sixties. I'll be doing the glue ins, sew ins, whatever's considered. Cause I never wear my real hair out. That's just who I am. I do have hair though, bitch. You will see. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering what I'm gonna get. I'm wondering. Ah. But anyway, guys, we're also gonna be covering other content such as entertainment. What's going on? Politics, in news. Yeah. Girl. All kind of things. So I'm I'm really excited to get this thing started. So we're gonna just um kinda like we, we sat here and we was thinking about like how do we start this channel? What do we do? We've been best friends. We met when we were eight years old. Yeah. Um and Indeed. I am I'm about to be forty next month. She's thirty nine. Thirty nine and five. Hey girl. bitch. Hey, so hey. <laughs> you know, we've been friends for a lot of years and we always get together, have a couple of drinks, talk about like the latest shows or like basketball wise what happened or things like that we yeah. always get together and we talk about things like that so i just thought it'd be really interesting well she thought it would be very interesting for us to get on live, um get on youtube and do this thing you know what i'm saying everybody's always saying guys you guys are hilarious like y'all need to get on youtube so yes. he's like fuck it yes. here we are and i mean what better week to start than homecoming week Oh, yeah. It's our homecoming <laughs> so, we're going to be going live from homecoming. Y'all get ready for that shit, bitch. Because Wilson, Wilson High School in Florence, South Carolina, alumni, like, literally, we have bitches 106 years old riding through our parade because they're alumni. And they still come home from Africa. They still come home from Africa. Georgia. They still come home from Chicago. They still come home from wherever they are. And they come and celebrate um, Wilson with us because... That's our alumni. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's up. We have the biggest school alumni in the world, I feel like. And yeah. I love it. You know what I'm saying? It's we a have lot a, of school spirit, school pride. Right. Right. There's like many other high schools around this area. But even from here to compare. Columbia. They can't compare. Right. Even in the metro, they have big schools in the metro. Like a lot of people, a lot of students attend their high schools, but they, you still, they names still don't ring bells like Wilson. Like you heard. Right. Like they leave there and come here for the weekend for Wilson's homecoming. Exactly. It's a teeny weeny little high school in Florence, South Carolina. Thank you. I'm a, I'm dropping jewels on y'all right now, so you might need to get down here. Like y'all heard of Myrtle Beach and y'all heard of Bike Weekend and how everybody been traveling from all over. You might want to come to Wilson, um, Wilson homecoming. homecoming alumni shit. Shit off the chain. I promise. Shut the you. city down. But all anyway, down. on to other content. Have you guys been watching the recent Power episode? Mm. Now she hasn't seen it, but I'm gonna talk about it. Oh, because guess what? Tasha done killed damn Keisha. But I thought it was friends, bitch. Yeah. And I mean, I thought Tasha, I mean, Keisha was helping her like, I was like what launder about money. Cash? But wait a minute, I thought she, I don't even know who Cash is, bitch. But where I left off, Keisha was helping Tasha launder money through her hair salon. And then she started fucking with, um, what's the white, what's the Tommy? finest white boy named Tommy? She started fucking with him. I ain't seen it since then. Like, I left off at like three episodes out of the end. Well, I'm gonna need for you to catch up tonight. Bitch, okay? I will. I will. So what you been watching lately? Well, I've been like I yesterday I binge watch um this um series on Hulu and the name of it is the act. It's about a um young girl um who um who pretty much grew up with a mother who never let her speak to medical professionals in a way like she grew up and like her mom answered all the questions for her her mom told her she was sick her mom told her she didn't feel good her mom told her that she could eat food so she had to get a feeding mm -hmm. feeding tube it was really crazy bitch so this lady like pretty much held her daughter medically hostage saying that she had all these problems but she never had any of the problems like she had this bitch in a full wheelchair and, and told her she couldn't walk but she could walk 
That's kind of like and a w- lifetime movie. Right, and once she figured out that she could walk and she started moving around, she started meeting niggas on the internet on the low behind her mama back. Yeah, shit got real. <laughs> shit got real. So please okay. watch the act on Hulu. That shit was good. Wow. Yes. Um. So I'm going to do a little spiel about um Hulu. She's going to do a little spiel about Netflix. She's going to tell you the movies that are great on Netflix or so- shows that she want to watch or shit that she's already watching. I'm going to do the same on Netflix. So go ahead. So first show you guys got to watch on Netflix is Black Mirror. It's the last that season that they did, that. but that first episode. With the um, niggas playing the game, fucking yes. each other in, in the game. It's like they're playing video games with each other. But kind of like Mortal Kombat. Mm. But in the game, like you're literally in the game. And it was just like, they started fucking and going on. I was like, wait a minute. In the game? <laughs> yeah, in the game. So my husband around there playing on the damn PlayStation here and they fucking? <laughs> I was just like, No, confused. not your husband, bitch. Not way it like, is. I'm sorry. I need to find out what the fuck's going on. Every time I hear that damn PlayStation beat. <laughs> You know the fuck, what you doing, Ronnie? I'm dead. This is what <laughs> I'm doing, Ronnie. I'm dead, bitch. I promise you, my brother is not doing any of that shit. No. He better not be. Bro. But another show I watched is something like from my childhood, from like Jim Henson, the Muppets and everything, The Dark Crystal. The Dark bitch. Crystal came out, the original movie came out in like 1982. Yeah, but I turned that bitch on that shit. Oh, did you watch it first? I watched it. You watched it first. <laughs> I saw it first like Ray J. Yeah, so I this just it brought first. back a lot of old childhood memories and I just was like, oh my God. And it made me watch it when I saw that it was from Jim Henson. I was like, wait a minute. Yes. I was like, this they, shit. Not, I was like, that, hey, yeah, not mu- hey. no, them all, what is it? Um... What is it called? Fraggle Rock. Rock. Yeah. Um, but not only that, but I just remember like Labyrinth is one of my favorite movies. Yeah, that's, good movie. that's one of my favorite movies. So when I saw that he was the director of it, and then I saw what the characters looked like, I was like, I gotta watch this shit. Yeah, and I mean, animated. bitch, it was like twelve episodes of crazy shit just watching. Yeah. Like anybody wa- walking on you watching, just change the channel, bitch. Yeah, you look, like, you're gonna look retarded, bitch. Just change the channel. Like, what are you watching? I was like, you don't understand. You just don't understand. You gotta watch it. But um, another thing on Netflix that I saw that I really liked was Someone Great. That was a good movie. What was it about? It was about a girl, her and her guy friend. Um, they were engaged, whatever, but she got a big job in another city and had to move away, so they just ended things. But, oh, she bossed up on that nigga. Yeah, left but they ass. still kind of like wanted to be together, but was they still it didn't fucking? happen. So it just... It's just like taking your girlfriend out, like she's feeling bad, y'all broke up, and y'all just like, no, we're going to hit the city, we're going to have fun, got to watch it. You see how she annoyed me when I asked, was they still fucking? I love her. Okay, <laughs> another movie, or another show, Netflix. Uh-huh. Raising Dion is something you said? Yeah, I want to do, I do want to see Raising Dion with my kids. I think my sons would really love it, to see a child, kind of like a Marvel movie, through with the eyesight of a child. Yeah, yeah superhero, with superhero, um, like, yeah. I think they'll like yeah. it. So I want to do a, a family thing and watch that with I them. watched the preview of that today, and I actually wanted to watch it. So it looks like it's good. So y'all support it. Yeah, it looks like it's good. Y'all support our black actors out here. And what about the comedy special you were telling oh, me? Oh, God, Dion Cole. Funny as fuck. I love Dion Cole. Big bitches be putting shit in the oven, nigga. Mm, they make them fries crispy. <laughs> How you do that in the oven, girl? Hey. Dion, my man. <laughs> He's one of the top comedians besides Dave Chappelle, Kevin Hart, Shit, is there anybody else? Is yes, anybody even DC out there? Fly Young, right? Carlos Miller. Oh, yeah. yes, Carlos. You know, I you know Chico. I love the, I love the eighty five style show. I love that shit. I watch that shit every week. I went to go see them when they came to Columbia. Well, they they were with Wild and Out at that time. I went to go see them, and I love the show. I love how participatory the show is. How everybody can just join in. Yeah. How they make it a group effort. Yeah, I how love they go that. Into the crowd, like, yeah, NBC. Excuse, excuse, excuse me, no excuse bitch. Me. But when they came to Columbia, they snatched this bitch wig off. Bitch. I, like, saw the, it. I was like, I died. Yeah, Bitch, I, I live it. for that. But see, I'd have had it got to be, and it wouldn't have. Like the rest well, of the it, Oh yeah, it's tugging now because bitch, I've been tired all day. Like I've been tired all day. This bitch literally came and got me out of my bed and said, bitch, we said we was going to start our YouTube channel today. What is you going to do? That's and right, I girl. was like, bitch, I'm tired. This bitch was like, I'm hungry. Me too, bitch. She come over here with some damn um, Palmetto Sub. That's a place in Florence that if you ever hit yes. this corner if of the you country. Messy if you want a sub. No, not even Ooh. a messy sub, but a good, a good clean sub like clean eating it's so fucking good if you want to if you want some fresh shit come get palmetto subs in florida the shit is so good so after after we after she went there she came over here we chilled for a little while then we went to go get me something to eat so i'm on this new diet thing like i'm not trying to eat any carbs 
shoot me too, bitch. <laughs> shoot me too, bitch, but the shit worked last time. So, I just want to just, like, quit eating so I, I eat unhealthy a lot. Like, the fact that I even went back to eating McDonald's is crazy to me. I don't even eat McDonald's. Trina, you, how long has this it been? This girl eats nothing but meat. But Burgers, meat. I like meat. Shrimp, any kind of meat. I mean, that's good for you. I like meat, but that's not a bad thing. Meat is not bad. It's the carbs that's bad for you. But well, it's the way the meat is raised. It, this is true because I used to work at Chipotle. I was a nah, GM, don't get so me twisted. I know. I do eat meat, but I limit myself. Like certain fatty foods, I'm just not gonna eat. That's true, but like my favorite thing is potatoes. So you know, I eat, I eat anything starchy. I love starchy shit. I love bread. I love rice. I love potatoes. I love noodles. I love anything that's noodles. yeah. I love any. I love I love starchy noodles. shit. So this is a good thing for me. I went to Miami Juniors today. I spent about twenty seven dollars. I I brought um oh, I brought uh, filet mignon and shrimp a uh, hibachi with the um with the um mushrooms and the vegetables and the little rice and then I brought two sides of sushi which was the um crab um sushi and the um what was it um california rolls and so i let trina try my california roll yeah, because disgusting. listen to me listen to me this is some shit that she would eat separate she would eat rice separate she would eat avocado separate because she loved guacamole she would eat cucumber separate because separate she would eat them shits with salt and pepper and vinegar and she would eat fucking um crab legs so these are all things that she would eat so i didn't think that she wouldn't like it because it's not cooked it's i mean it's cooked it's no raw meat. Listen, I tried it. I always told my co I, oh, I see everybody trying. eating it. I'm like, I want to try it one day. I want to try it one day. So she was like, here's your chance. Just try it. I put that shit in my mouth. Never again. Never. <sighs> Y'all can keep it. It's so good. Thank you for the opportunity. I love it. See, me, so that's another thing. So, while we're doing these videos or whatever, I'll be doing mukbangs or some crazy shit. She'll probably be eating damn french fries from, um, from McDonald's on her mukbang because she's she like really? normal shit. She likes shit that, you, like, she likes normal shit. You do. No, you do. You <laughs> like normal shit. Like, you don't like to step outside the box. Like, I, I don't I feel... stepped outside the box today and I didn't no, like being outside no, the damn box. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not mad at you about it. It. I'm just saying that I don't feel like like if I say let's go to a Thai restaurant today, it's kind of like I would try it. It's kind of like if you I would don't try like it. it I just you would try it. Napkin, I she would try it, but I knew she wouldn't. I know she wouldn't like it. Her palate right, is bitch. different. Her palate is different. And there's nothing wrong with it. But we do agree on pizza. Everybody and we do agree on her damn baked food. <laughs> this bitch can bake any kind of damn meat that you want bake. Bake pork chops, bake chicken, bitch. This bitch called. I fried this bitch bacon. That shit good. But you can see the difference. She's smaller. I'm bigger. Bait fried bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what else you gonna talk to the people about? So what's in your cup? Oh. Tell the people what's in your cup. I got a little this and that in my cup. And I have a little bit of something more. If they would just give me some money to invest. <laughs> <laughs> Invest and fill it up. Right. If you want me to, um, if you want us to do any kind of promotion on our page, or you know what I'm saying, because that's our new shit. What's in your cup? We're going to be asking what's in your cup. And people are going to want to know what's in our cup. Yeah. So if you want to do any kind of advertising, any kind of promotions, send us something to drink. And we'll tell these people what is in our cup. And until these people pay me, so you can I don't have us. nothing in my cup but water. That's what it looked like. <laughs> until they pay me, I have nothing but water. Well, I got more than water. And it brown just like me. Have y'all been watching The Walking Dead? Oh, my God. That is my show. I've been watching The Walking Dead ever since it started. And them whispers, bitch, they coming. And they ain't whispering. They loud. They loud. <laughs> they loud. So, I'm just, I'm really excited about the upcoming season of that. And on to another thing on Hulu. As I was about to say, because she did Netflix, so I'm doing Hulu. So, the act was one of them. Um... Walking Dead, I'm excited about the um, Whisperers, and also Wu-Tang Clan. Mm -hmm. That, let me tell you something, like, I, I've, I've always loved Wu-Tang Clan, especially because I'm in love with Method Man, like, that's my nigga. Like, like he's he's my man, though. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, he's my man. Have you seen him in a suit? Bitch. Won't he do it? But <laughs> won't he do it? But um, I'm totally in love with him, but that, that's my new show. Like, it was really crazy. Like, I always knew they always had a, a past. And I always wonder how those, how some niggas that were so different, how did they meet? 
like yeah, they was they how did they intertwine how did their stories come together and this actually tells how their stories come together from them being young and just being in the hood and just you know wanting more than just what the streets had to offer and even some of them not wanting more than the streets had to offer but another nigga having to show them what they need you know what I'm saying so yeah. it was just it's a great show I suggest you guys watch it it's really really good another show that I've been watching is Harlots if anybody okay so Anybody who knows me knows that I'm obsessed with the 18th century. I'm obsessed with any time period before the 1900s. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. Like, so I watch Harlots. I watch uh, Tudors. I watch, like, The Last Kingdom. Like, I love anything that is from the, I call it Elizabethan Elizabethan area, you know what I'm saying? So I like things, anything from that time period, from the from maybe like the 1600s to the 1800s. I love anything that takes place in that time, like kings, queens, thrones, swords. Like, isn't uh, there like a, a show um, based out of London, Top Boy or something? Yeah, that's a more modern show, so it takes place in today. I think they cancel it. You know, Drake they picked it up. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so. So, I was like, oh, that made me want to watch it now. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. And it takes place current. It's in current time, though. But I like things that are, like, period pieces. What takes place a long time ago, like the Bolin Girls or whatever. So, or Queen Elizabeth. I like things like that. So, I'm very obsessed with that. And there's a, also a page on Instagram that I'm obsessed with. It's called um, Heavenly Creatures. And it has all these... Um, Outfits made by Versace, Valentino, Balenciaga. Uh, they have all these great costumes that they made for the movies that were in time pieces uh, in that time period. So I like, I'm really into that. So I like watch a lot of that. So like, I'm hood as fuck, but I'm like cultured. I'm hood as fuck, but I'm cultured. I live in like nine different states. Don't get twisted because it's inside me. Yeah, okay. try me. Okay. <laughs> I feel you. But um. We're glad you guys tuned in. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and yeah, subscribe. Um, add us to your notification. Hit that little bell on the right hand side so that you be notified every time we get a video. Yes. Every time we post a video, you know what I'm saying. I know we're new, but we got some shit for you. So stick around. And in the comments, will you please drop down what's in your cup so we can try it next time? Also, any questions, anything you want us to review, um, such as um. Basketball wise with OG oh, yes. and Evelyn and that bullshit because Evelyn like really be like it should be tonight it should so, yeah. be but Evelyn running up on everybody she ain't ran up on OG she ran up on the right she, one yeah That's just like me <laughs> try right try it. I love it <laughs> but we'll see you um we'll be trying to do a video maybe every, every Wednesday. Wednesday. Um, so, you know, and then you'll be seeing some separate content from us. Yes. Like, she'll be home, different background. I'll be here, different background. I'll do some makeup tutorials. I'll do some wig install tutorials. She'll be doing natural hair. She'll be yes. doing some cooking videos, as will I. I'll be doing some mukbangs. She'll be doing some mukbangs. She'll be doing some family time so you can get to yeah. see my other family. Because as, um, well, you guys don't know. She's <laughs> married and she has three kids. Do I look like I have an eighteen-year-old? She doesn't. Yeah. I'm single <laughs> and I have no kids. Um, I'm forty. She's thirty-nine, and like I live my life when it comes to kids vicariously through her because I don't want any children. So like, her daughter, she's in college. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. It's not her best friend. It's my best friend <laughs> in my fucking head. It's my. But best yes, friend. I have an eighteen-year-old. I have two boys who are autistic. They're eleven. <laughs> And, and seven. seven. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, so we'll be having some adventures with them. Um, There's another little guy you're going to meet. His name is Dakari. He's yeah. our new best friend. That's our um, nephew. Yeah, that's our nephew. That's our niece's son. Her name is Nene. That's our niece's son. He is the cutest motherfucker, and he loves the baby. When I tell <laughs> you he's going to be up here, I'm in my bag today. Yeah, I'm going and hard today. Back yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And him. he's only like one and a half, so you'll be getting a kick out of him. But there's so much content, so much stuff yeah. for us to cover, so many adventures for us to go on, yeah. so many dates for me to go on and tell so y'all niggas about that shit. Oh, Lord. And so many topics to discuss, like yes. while your man's in the bathroom, he got the shower running. Mm -hmm. Why you got shower running on? You don't want me to mm -hmm. hear you poop? Mm -hmm. I, I, don't I don't want to hear him poop. <laughs> and I will run the water so he doesn't hear me neither. I don't like it. Well, I don't care. I'm dropping some kids off at the pool and you gonna hear him bloop. God damn it, bitch. I don't want to sweat what if they right. dying? But we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye. Ultra Bye. Cover TV. Check it out.